Hi guys and gals out in YouTube land, it's Miss Beverly back at you this evening for the final wig review of tonight. Um, yeah, so I got my box from China with my wig in it from bestlacewigs.com and it was really a gorgeous unit. Um, too curly for me, but I'm going to try giving it to my daughter because she has naturally curly hair so it probably will work for her. Uh, and then if I order another one, I think it's going to be a straight one. But, um, that's not the one I'm showing tonight. So, I want to show my hair again. I'm trying to... I'm trying desperately to grow it out. And, you know, I mean, it's... It's getting there, you know? I mean, it's getting there. I had this really, really short cut um, before this. I mean, it had like sideburns in the front, but it was really like cut up over the ear back here. So it's grown quite a bit. Um, the only thing I'm kind of bummed out about is on both sides. Let's see, this side's actually the worst. Look at the hair loss I've got going on here. Look at all that. See that? I've noticed it, I'd say, probably, I'd say probably a year ago, um, I noticed that um, it was getting thinner at the temples on both sides. I'm, I'm not sure what the deal is. I mean, it's not like it's gotten thinner because I'm wearing wigs, so now all of a sudden it's thinner. I mean, it's not like that. Um, because, oh, hey, we'll show them your unit, too. Um, but, uh, no, when, when I get done with this one. Sorry about that. Um, but I can't really explain it. So I thought, well, I'll wear the wigs and the protective styles for a while. And, you know, a little, some, but, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking about getting my own hair cut into, like, a bob. Like, actually the bob style. But I still want to be able to put, put it back in a ponytail back here, so... I don't know. We'll see. But um, anyway, I digress. So let's get to the unit that I've got for you tonight. Um, right now, I've got another Beverly Johnson unit. I um, oops, I went to um, MimiBeautyLine.com, and they're having a great sale right now. And so I picked up Braxton, and she's in a color number FS1B30. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that a great look? And um, so uh, right now, I got her. She was $29.69. I think they've got a sale right now where everything is like, I don't know. It's more than 10% off. But um, from now until Christmas, they've got this um, these reduced prices going on. So... They're not, um, so we won't be able to get our extra 7% because they've already got low prices. So, <laughs> so it really wasn't going for the fact that, you know, um, that, you know, we were, we were going to be getting additional discounts. So here's the unit. And she's kind of a long, like a gypsy curl. I'd say she's probably a good 20, 22 inches maybe. Um, she does have sun, hush, she does have a skin part. It's pretty dark, so I'm going to try using that wet and wild I just got, the mineral stuff, and see what it does. And then the typical U on the top for the skin top, and then it says pure stretch cap like they always do, but it really looks like all wigs. And then, um, the adjustable straps, uh, where's my focus? There they are. So, uh, let me see if they're adjusted. All right. So, this is her. So, I'm just going to throw my hair up here in, in a ponytail so I can put my wig cap on. I almost got it long enough to where I can put the whole, all the hair. I remember when I first started wearing, I, I bought a, uh, a Sensational, um, like, half wig. I actually had two. I bought one from Newborn Free, the Sade wig, which I just loved. And then I got um, one from Sensational. And um, it, it, was, uh, it was a great wig, too. And I was so stoked. I, I could only put my hair, the only ponytail I could get in my hair 
was like, he's big, you know, it was terrible. You know, because you had to, I mean, to fit the comb in the back, you know, you can't wear a half wood without putting those combs in. So, yeah, it was hilarious. And now I can actually, you know, almost get all my hair into one. So I was really <laughs> excited about that. So let's throw this number on and see what we can get her to do. That's got an interesting curl pattern. I mean, a color pattern in the highlight. Oh, wow. Uh, let's see here. Let me get her all adjusted and stuff here. Cap fits a little bit better on this one. I might not have to have it this tight. Okay. Let me try to see what we've got here. Okay. It's looking a bit wiggy right now. Here's the... Uh, Here's the part here. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right. Definitely going to have to brush her out because she really has got the whole uh, I just came out of the pack look going on. And sometimes, I mean, no matter what anyone tells you, sometimes you have you have to brush these units out. There's no other way to do it to um, keep them from looking like they just came out of the pack and you're wearing plastic on your head. So, you know, you just got to take a good brush to them and, you know, up around the part line, you know, and around the crown to loosen it up. And I'm probably going to have to pull, like I always have to pull, my own hair out some. Um, because it actually kind of has a, a uh, really wiggy look at where the part is. Um, and, and plus, the other thing is, is if the wind blows back, look at that. See what I mean? If you have no hair, they're at an advantage just in terms of that because, you know, when if the wind blows back, you're not going to, you're not seeing all your business like that. But uh, on me, you definitely see it. So I pull just a little bit out, and, and it's not going to hurt to pull a little bit out on this one because of how the front is looking, you know, um, it's kind of looking wiggy in uh, where the part is there. So if I pull a little bit of my own hair out, um, you know, less, less wiggy there. I missed a piece. And I'm not talking about pulling much out now. I'm talking about pulling like you know, a quarter inch of hair. I mean, just, you know, this much out, tiny bit. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at her. Here's the curl pattern. Now she's kind of a, um, there's no bang per se. I mean, they're both feathered back on either side, um, which is, different for me because I usually like to try to have my forehead covered uh, but but the side swoop I you know or I usually work with in other words but this is not really a side swoop it's kind of just barely off center parting um, but here's the curl pattern I don't know if you can see it here the lighting's a little bit better in this area that I'm at now so see that curl pattern it's down to the boobage so it's pretty long um, and great curls love it let's look at the back I've always liked the gypsy curl pattern and let me fix that okay fits really good around the back of the neck which is kind of nice and let's see if you can see it can you see it here you make sure Okay, movement of the hair. Now keep in mind it's really long, so therefore it's going to weigh, weigh down a bit more. But here's the look in the back. 
and here's the movement now great really a great movement to hair uh, to uh, for a synthetic hair that's really long like this it really has a nice movement to it and the curls are great I really like the curls um, I think that you know I think that this unit I mean it's a long unit and it is curly but I think that this unit really um, because the curls are not overstated uh, and it's not a big huge you know number um, I really think that this unit could really be a good you know everyday wig I wouldn't have any problem at all throwing this booger on and rolling right on out to Walmart or Kmart or freaking Target or or Nordstrom's for that matter or Macy's or any of those places either um, I think that you know the only thing I have to say and this is not about just Beverly Johnson wigs this is about wigs in general with the highlights is that they always do this chunking thing and I just think that that is not natural looking um, and really in all honesty I mean I don't see a whole lot maybe a couple of strips back here but I don't see a whole lot in her other than that you know now I can't see the back right now but uh, you know I don't see a whole whole lot of highlights in her I'm just looking in my mirror over here um, but I really do like the look of this one I really do I like the look of this one um, it, it's the hair is really soft um, it, it it's not terribly shiny um, it does not have a big cone head thing going on um, for you girls that you know are into that it, it could be like a, um, a a long like a Kim Kardashian kind of look you know with because uh, that's what she wears a lot of times is the long flowy um, like what they call gypsy curl um, and that's that's what this number is now I'm sure that um, as time goes on the curls fall um, to a certain extent and it becomes looser but uh, right now I mean I really like this as a matter of fact I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow uh, I'd wear it somewhere tonight if I was going anywhere but uh, you know right now I mean this is this is a really nice unit I mean I'm really impressed with it I really am I like it I like how the um, curls are and I like how the sides flip back I mean I just think it's really cute so I would recommend this one and right now on MimiBeautyLine.com it's twenty nine dollars and sixty nine cents which is not a bad price for a full wig at all um, uh, a long full wig and uh, you know I guess I should have probably looked the reason why the highlights look like that is because there are streaks it's FS I should have paid attention um, but yeah so um, here she is Braxton in a color number FS 1B30 uh, currently at MimiBeautyLine.com for $29.69. Be sure to check them out, you guys. You cannot beat their customer service. You cannot beat it at all. Um, and they are offering um, free ground shipping right now for uh, $70 orders and over. And um, the prices are great. So, all right. Um, hopefully I'll be back at you again I've got another lace front coming that I purchased um, I've got the scandal wig coming uh, and hopefully it'll be here before long and I got in on the elf um, deal that they just had where you got the um, three big studio sets for 33 bucks so I'll be having that coming at you pretty quick too so, uh, hit me up if you have any questions or anything, and until next time, rock on. Bye-bye.